You mean three damage? Bro, only three damage? <laughs> oh, we, oh, yes, the triggers. The double Teferi trigger. Look at this freaking madness. Nice three damage, bro. Hello everyone, it's Love here and now we have Esper and you will see so many cool plays this video. You will see search engine to its full potential so you can evaluate how, I, how you like the card. And you will see how absolutely reasonable of a Planewalker Teferi is, which is always the case in Magic. And how it absolutely is fine. It's just fine. Just play a lot of those in every deck. <laughs> Man, this took over the game so much, it's not even... Just freaking look at the game. You will see how this token, that is a 2-2 and seems like a normal card, uh, can absolutely take over the game and how to play with it. Like seriously, watch this game, you will learn a lot, I feel. So, we are playing Esper. I know you've seen this Raffin, Esper talk. No, no, it's not do done on this channel, not yet. We have much better stuff. This is a true control deck, the one you wanted. And we are going strong with uh, some old of, of the old choices like Syncopates, Bangbusters, Scrutiny, but also the new ones. Soul Partition is one of, of the big ones. If you watched my previous video, you know that you can pro, uh, protect your Planewalkers with it or any permanents basically that aren't lands. What it means is that it's either a removal early game or if you need value, you can just save, for example, Teferi from a removal and suddenly you replay Teferi next turn, they have nothing, they lose the game. Easy. And it's still an extremely strong removal. Like, I like the card so far, really. Uh, search engine, a uh, very interesting card. So you, you can see the text. It's basically like a Vor Sleeper for a blue. And it's a big creature. One important thing, all of the activations can be done at uh, instant speed. So this is why we have it in the deck, because we play this guy for two mana and then we forget about it. Then we play normal control game with counter spells, stuff like this, removal at the end step. And when our opponent doesn't do anything, then we pump it. And when it goes to 5-4, it's such a good blocker, it really starts to threaten, you know, a lot of good blocks. You don't need to counterspell everything, it just helps all around. And when you hit 6 mana with the 3 cards, man, like, that's a big difference, that's a big difference. So, Scatteray, the card that somehow never is drawn during any of the game, I don't know how. Uh, so, I think it's like Essence Scatter, but more versatile, I feel. Go for the throat. You will see one of the of disadvantages of this card, especially with new manlands that are seeming to start to roam the meta. So definitely check this one out. Maybe one should be Infernal Grasp. I'm not yet decided. We have a lot of removal here, so I went for it. Urza's rebuff. Something I was personally really excited for. It is a counter spell, but this is one of the few counter spells that actually is kind of removal for a way. So we can either target spell, counter target spell or just tap to creatures in combat phase so they do not attack. And I have lost so many games by being attacked this one last turn before I can depopulate or farewell. And for this reason, we play a lot of depopulates, okay? Because after you tap out, uh, you lost a card just to gain one turn. It basically gain five life or something like this. So next turn you need a sweeper or you basically wasted the turn. And that's the idea. Uh, there is also Blade Coil Serpent. Fair warning, we didn't manage to use it in this video, but the rest of the cards absolutely were used to full potential. So, you know, I want to make uh, more decks with this card. I think it's fine. It's really good uh, finisher because you can just pump basically 10 mana usually by the time you want to finish the game. And you play it when your opponent is tapped out. The, then he cannot cast instant to kill it and you just pay enough black to discard all of his cards and he stop decking and he's against like seven six or something crazy like this so i think i feel this is a really good card and you can always refill i like it so yeah probably could be switched to teferi because teferi is absolutely fair and reasonable as every teferi plane walker ever uh, for the mana base it's, it is what it is. All right, let's go into the games and don't forget to subscribe. We are doing God's work, playing control in the new meta. So, you know, uh, we are doing our thing. So I hope you enjoy. I think this video has a lot of interesting plays. So let's go get on with it. All right, we are going first. We definitely have a lot of tap lands, but we have a counter spell and emperor. So 
I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Let's see what kind of aggro deck we are facing. Oh my god, someone is playing control with new cards. Amazing, crazy. <laughs> and yeah, the sleeves are... Uh, the sleeves are... Alright, so our opponent is playing control like we are. So whoever has the most counter spells will have a match. We have a counter spell, that's really important. In this kind of matchup you want to have at least one. Oh, never mind. So it's Grixis. I wonder what exactly is the build. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. I think we let it through. There are no cards, so we don't care. And I mean... Yeah, let's take it. Let's take it. So I think we go to our face. I don't really think we should remove it. It gives value later and it's just 3 damage a turn. You know what we have to do. Oh wow, we don't have the short red mana. Alright, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. But we'll get there. We will get there. So our opponent has 4 mana. He will bait the attack. We don't react. If anything, we cast the Emperor Dance step. 3 HP is not a lot. For this particular reason. Uh, yeah, we really want to counter this one. Counter target spell. I really like this counter spell. The fact that it has two modes is such a big deal. You know, let's get the Emperor main phase. Because this is tapped. He is tapped. He has five cards only. So even if he removes the Emperor, like we have the edge here. And we mostly set up for the fairy. We already traded one for one. Uh, invoke the spur. W would you even say that the new set hit the spot? It's exactly the same as before. Nothing changed. <laughs> like it's absolutely insane. I hope you drew into another one, bro. Uh, so yeah, there's no pressure on the board. So all I care is just to have more the fairy cards. And when we cast Silver Scrutiny somehow, we can absolutely uh, go crazy from there. So, you probably wanted your Invoke Despair, right? <laughs> Very nice. By the way, you can use Rafin Tower to cycle and then get additional counter on the Fairy. That's a huge deal. That's actually a huge deal. And yeah, with Silver Scrutiny, now we need to make pressure. And now it's really good. And I mean, we want Silver Scrutiny at the end step. That's the play. Or we can just respond to his, I don't know, removal. If he taps out, we play the scrutiny and suddenly a bright. You mean 3 damage? Bro, only 3 damage? <laughs> oh, we, oh, yes, the triggers. The double tefer trigger. Look at this freaking madness. Nice 3 damage, bro. Yeah, he should not. Well, I guess he could do it, but it's not so hard to pump it. So yeah, basically he wasted two cards just on the token and our Teferi is growing faster than he, <laughs> than he can do that. It's absolutely insane. Now we can, if he deals six damage to Teferi, we just cycle two cards and we get even more stuff. Man, this is absolutely insane. Teferi is so busted, it's not even funny. I, I, I mean, it's absolutely weak card and we should never pay attention to it. But you know, that's included in the deck. Cut down. I mean... <laughs> oh, I'm so happy right now. This is my favorite creature of all time. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Man, Lance are just buff in disguise. Nice cut down, bro. <laughs> we are avoiding all of his stuff so well. Like, he wasted two removal spells without doing anything. Easy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Nice 3 damage, bro. <laughs> and now, by the way, the fairy is still growing. Like, every single turn we make a token for minus 2 and it does not even matter. Uh, nice 5 damage. Easy. With Vigilance, so we could even block. And you know what? I think the clock is too slow. I think Shelly uh, is for the spot. Man, that's what you get for playing all the old cards. Now you see the power, the true ta power of the fairy. Oh no, it's a, it's a two tokens. What will I do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Man, the fairy is absolutely busted. You can see how 
quickly he dominates the battlefield and the tokens the fact they have basically variable stats is absolutely crazy all right you are going first and by you i mean i <laughs> i don't know why i said it like this and we are playing against person with iq 722 so it will be probably mono red or mono white oh my god it's actual deck <laughs> all right so we have soul partition we will have uh, a counter spell a sweeper and an emperor especially the emperor will will give us advantage that we need to make through this game yeah double blue is a thing if we play shatter sanctum we actually disable our answers so yeah, I nearly misplayed this one. That's a that's a big deal. We need counter spell from now on. One mana. Oh no, that's a two damage in my face. What will I do? Man, this this seven hundred twenty two is is all the difference. That that's what you play with this like. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we're just having fun. I told you it's monoret. They they just use the bad lands for monoret. I mean. Sure, bro. And the reason we counter it is that we have Emperor next turn. And I've played with Soul Partition. You generally want something without the haste to hit it. Like, I already used it at an adversary in the other games, and like it didn't feel super great. Like, it was okay, but definitely not the full value. I mean, bro, like, I don't need to play stuff. It's your, it's your job. <laughs> I can just sit here waiting until you lose the game. So you better do those lightning strikes at the end step. Not even this. Man, the, the, the deck, absolute. Yeah, definitely insane IQ for, you know, playing tap lands in your monoret. <laughs> like, I guess, man, like what the hell is going on? He's literally playing monoret with tap lands for some reason. Maybe that's the... IQ part. I don't know. I don't know. So he needs to put the counter. You know where. And you know what will happen. <laughs> oh yes. Destroying Monoret with Taplands. Uh, my favorite thing. To be uh, like jokes aside, he probably has something. Uh, we are using a Gandro as a removal. I mean, I will plus one. If he wants to use burn, he's down to three cards and he will lose anyway. And if he doesn't, we will have Samurais. And with a Ganjo, whatever haste creature he has, is this time to scoop? Wow, three damage. Easy. Enjoy your mono red I play burn spells. What the heck? Oh my god, is this the worst deck for the meta? I don't know. It definitely feels this way from this game but i'm not sure we'll see all right so we definitely want to draw three cards oh nice the search engine is absolute absolutely great i mean you want to see it and we have exactly four mana it means that we will be act able to activate the full version i'm not clicking it but the three cards are there man i like the fact that all of them those effects are instant you can cast them at sorcery per, uh, speed or activate them, I should say. He doesn't have counters, don't forget this is an artifact. Brutal cutter. Easy. Easy. But you know, uh, we actually do not mind it. Our opponent feels like a champ. Oh, I destroyed his cool creature and I'm the best player in the world. So it's basic. he basically took the two best decks right now. Um, okay, maybe not the best decks, but two meta decks, and he thought, hey, I will just merge them. What can go wrong? <laughs> I mean this, this can go wrong. Alright, jokes aside, like, we are just bros here, I'm, I'm just laughing, because it's kind of funny. Uh, I'm not sure, like, the deck has some identity, I guess, but I'm not sure if it's better than any of the, like, decks that were really there, you know? Uh, we have a Ganjo. That means we do not care about Raiju at all. So basically I just want to trade cards for cards forever. And we will be left with cards and he won't. And with the search engine, like we have absolute champ of a mana sink. I probably at some point could buff it uh, and start trading. But against Raiju it's 4-4, this will be 5-4. So don't for... Yeah, I shouldn't click. I should click this one so he doesn't pay attention. It's a... 
it's a crazy new thing all right so we can pay one if he lightning strikes this we can pay one and three this will be five four it means that it survives everything like i know it's better to just counter it but where's the fun in it you know as usually high mythic we're just making fun plays <laughs> Like, Lightning Strike is his best bet, I think. Unless he wants to play with Fire My Face. Okay. Like, I mean, Face? Wow. Like, he's really passionate about going My Face. I don't know how to feel about it because it's so freaking bad. Man, we are at 15. What the? Does he know how the card work? He knows. Guys, he knows. All right, we should definitely start using all this uh, mana. I mean, the pain and mana. And of course, we cannot go for the final one. And we need six mana for this. That's quite a lot. But now we will be able to. So we have a fight. Man, I like this card. I'm not sure how insanely meta it will be. Usually mana things are not the best. This dies to cut down in original form. So there are some issues. But at the same time, man, it's pretty epic when it works. I mean, how much mana do I need? Six. I really want to draw, to draw three cards, you know? I really do. And you know what? I think nothing can go wrong if we let him through with it. It's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. So we will just draw three cards. That's my, that's my strategy. I want my three cards. Nice, not much of a damage. And now, and yeah, it's not the correct play. We should just counter it and wait. But where's epicness when you can draw three freaking cards and it's blue? That's the condition, it has to be blue. Yes, the power, the power is definitely here. All right, I mean, we tried, so this was a removal and now we play the Emperor main phase. And we probably closed the game, right? And then we hold up the counter spell for his last cards. Easy game. And all the all the cool stuff, right? Right? This might be the first time you have ever seen. Do I care? Nah. Oh, obviously, obviously we don't. That's the problem with burn spells, okay? You have zero cards and some burn spells and what now? I think we can discard the, the populate. Like, he won't be having a whiteboard, believe me. It's basically a four mana sorcery speed remover. Do you explode? Yes, nice. Th this was definitely some high IQ <laughs> uh, And if, mate, if you are watching, we are just messing. <laughs> that, that was funny. And I really, man, the pause before you get the next stage is weird. All right, so do I like this hand? I kind of do. We have card advantage. We have counter spell and the removal. And we are finally, finally seeing Oh my god, I messed up, didn't I? Alright, it will be Bankbuster then. <laughs> Alright, that's definitely bad. What the card does, I should probably read the cards. One mana to one. Oh, this is this one. Four mana, look at the top four cards of library, creature card, three mana or less, into hand. Cool. So, pretty decent card. So, given I'm a bad, bad player, we need to play Bankbuster because I suck. <laughs> Basically. We should start with the Marsh because this is the only uh, turn to land that we could play as an untapped one. So he will go for go for the throat. It means we have to counter spell something and then he can pressure us very well. So we need to hit a sweeper. We need to depopulate as soon as possible probably. Uh, this is not a soldier, so it's pro probably just mono white aggro. Yep. That's a four damage. He, he's down to three cards. We have the Emperor, yeah, it's that go for the throat. Man, that's a perfect curve on the play. I always cannot understand how they can do it all the time. Like when I play aggro, I barely can even, you know, hit anything. But to be fair, uh, this was absolutely my mistake. When he played this, I would respond with uh, go for the throat. Then he would probably name the Emperor. However, this is pretty good. Like, I have to say, this one is pretty good. Uh, it will be very hard for him to uh, just kill it. And we can crew the Bankbuster, so that's a big deal. It can also lose Defender, but no Vigilance, so we are not attacking. 
that it will definitely help unless he has emperor on top of all of this adversary yeah sure why why not do everything that's always great we can still trade with the peacekeeper so bankbuster is not a draw engine we don't need more draw let's see the attack unfortunately it will be seven seven damage with the peacekeeper or it should be if he plays like this i'm absolutely fine with it i i consider it as pretty like I, I would say it's a mistake he gives us good trade and it's bankbuster so we don't really care about bankbuster we don't have time to draw cards so not sure if he missed it or he feels it's beneficial to him i'm not sure but it feels that it's not especially next turn it's emperor so if he attacks with guardian only uh, we have ways to do it. Of course we start to buff the search engine, like why not, right? Loses defender, cannot be blocked, that's a decent draw I guess. I mean we could uh, exile guardian right now, it's not bad. I'm a bit scared because he gets enlist. So he will get good draws, but I think we need to bear with his good draws for one more turn. So for three mana it will be three, five, four. Well, five, four is a big deal. Add the line. That's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. Do we counter her? We don't have good plays outside of countering. Yeah, I think the board is too heavy, so we need to actually do stuff. Um, maybe we... <laughs> do we do it? No, we do it next turn. Yeah, we do it next turn. So this turn, it will be Emperor. I didn't want to play Emperor. Yeah, this is also tapped, by the way. So he will make this. He makes a scry. We definitely let him do it first, while he doesn't have all the variables, but he knows all except one card in reality. Alright, that's a 7-3. We definitely play the Emperor. The question is, what exactly do we kill? This buffs everything, so that's a big deal. But this is just super annoying. Yeah, we want... We, we just want to get rid of the biggest one. Like, if we kill this one, we can block the token, but what about the rest of the damage? And I'm thinking, do we have time to... Yeah, I think it's like this. Especially that he can actually start using the ability. Mishra's Foundry. I see. We are back to those times, are we? Alright, and we'll make a token here. And we can tap both of them. The problem is, will we draw another lamp? Oh. I mean, that helps. <laughs> oh, wow. At least they are using one new card in their old deck, <laughs> basically. I mean, do I want... We definitely play land. I think it's important. And you know what? I like my Emperor. I think we don't have too much value. Like, we have value, but we have reactive value. We don't have... Oh, yeah. I guess I need to get used to, you know, the card that I mentioned moment before. Yeah, I, I forget that they can just use it as a normal man land. They don't need any, you know, plus plus synergies or stuff. So, it is what it is. I think we will still win. I definitely messed this one up. I should make the Samurai and then we would basically trade for the Misha Foundry so he wouldn't be able to do anything. It has not no Vigilance, right? So if he attacks, he cannot pump it. Because there is this white prototype creature that can attack and pump itself. He knows about go for the throat, but it is an artifact, so that's a problem. One of the drawbacks for the card, as you can see, especially for control, like uh, on all aggro decks, the artifact creatures will be a thing. So as you can see, if I didn't mess the Emperor, this would not be a problem. So this game is entirely on me so far. And it is possible we just die in three turns if we don't draw, like, any kind of draw. As, as you can see, you know, we can tap it once, but only once, and then we lose a counter spell for it.
So basically, this is game to life. It's better than nothing, but you know, that's that's a good draw. <laughs> that's a really good draw. This actually saves us. And that's a big deal because he has only two cards and he wants to know. He wa Man, this guy had really good, uh, like, knowing. We counter it. Uh, why we don't go for the throat and just kill it? Because then he sees a Gandra and then he doesn't attack. And we want to get rid of this annoying little creature. We also want him to tap the mana. And not gonna lie, this was a very decent top deck. Very decent one. And this is, uh, you know, like, sure, that is not the worst card. I will I, I gladly accept it. At 4 HP, it will probably lose the kill him. Yeah. Like, I made a mistake, and to be absolutely honest, I probably deserve to lose. Man, I where where's my rank? This is ranked, and I don't get my rank. That's that's cheating. Okay, thank you. You need to complain, like like in life. <laughs> All right, opponent goes first. We will definitely keep this one, and I guess this is two drop for some reason. <laughs> oh yes, yes, the famous mono red. Never show that the new set is here, just in case. All right, so adversary, man, we have seen it so many times that it seems that nothing will change. <laughs> MTG as intended. I I had higher hopes for MTG nerd guy, you know? Like, it, I, I was just feeling, man, it should be something. So the problem will be with Reckless Stormseeker, and we basically need to hit a Sweeper and a land or we die. <laughs> so, you know, the, the classic. Soul Partition is absolutely great here. Uh, this also means that when he recasts the adversary, it will uh, be very hard to combine with, with uh, counters. And when he recasts it for 4, it's still 2-2, two, two, not 3-3. Three, three. So much, much better than this. The problem is this, because we are on the draw, so everything we do is just worse. But you know what? Man, this is, this is one of the reasons I like the card. Right now you can just hold up the counter spell and either they play into it, lightning strike, easy, sure bro, sure bro, either you counter spell or if they pressure you, you just heal and that's absolutely fine. Adversary, alright, alright, pretty greedy, but we have to counter this one, we need to diminish all the damage. If we had a land and a sweeper, I would use the tap function and just get rid of the attack uh, and basically uh, get hit by one, but it's not really the case this time. So we are at seven. Our opponent has three cards. All of them deal damage <laughs> because that's magic. Oh, but uh, he has a lightning strike. So for this reason, we are kind of forced to counter it as well. So, you know, he can still go with Reckless Stormseeker, which is pro like, I'm not sure, but it seems that it is possibility. Easy damage, but one card cannot deal enough. Okay, so now we know everything. Will we get mana school? Not exactly, not exactly. I kind of li like what I see. Uh, we cannot play Shordred, so yeah, some cost to this land. Maybe it's not the best idea in the end. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, we can definitely go for the Emperor. The problem is what will he draw, because he can draw like some aggressive card with haste, and then we are in trouble. So we will be at 5. With this we will be at 3. He has 2 cycling, don't forget about this. Uh, so we could also go for the search engine, and go for the throat. And you know what? I kind of like this idea more. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, I would love to cast Union, but they just pressure us so hard that we don't really have time to do it. So let's see, he needs exactly Burn spell from the top. Rada, I don't think she's good enough. No haste. And now he cannot attack with the Epicures. And now we kill this one. They also have the same strength, so it's even... Oh. Oh. Do we play the land? It gives us short that next turn, so we probably do. Man, I, I mark, marketed Union of the Third Path so much and there's no time to play it against Agro. All right, so at least you have both uh, sides of the card. We can play it right now, but then we don't do anything else, right? 
if he draws a lightning strike, he just kills us straight, and we cannot do anything about it. Oh, no! Then we can do it. Okay, I like it. Is one HP worth it? Uh, yeah, I think we should still play the land. Like, I like the one HP, but I don't think it's worth wasting Shouldred. We need this particular land. We actually needed it before. Yeah, so he will have two cycling before he will go for the lightning strike. And that's risky because... Raiju. Easy. That's how you play magic. <laughs> he will put the counter here, but uh, this is the card we can exile. Alright, so he attacks with everything. He wants to kill us. Then we will exile the Emperor, uh, the Rada, in response to the counter, so we don't get uh, dealt damage. We will be at 5. We block this one, and we are at 1. I guess that's the case. We have to do it like this. We probably trade with Raiju then. Easy. Oh, you smarty smarter. Alright, that's definitely worse. So, if we use the Emperor, uh, we still can trade here. Yeah, we cannot make good trades. We need to make any trades. Union, man. Union did not go very well right now. And this would be one damage. So, if we block this, we... Yeah, we have to do it like this. Rada is a bit too threatening. I mean, it is the case then. We will be at one. And we do it like this. Uh, because next turn we can probably try it with something. So either it's either sure that. Yeah, we definitely need to make a dude. Sure that wins us the game in one turn if we can uh, make him not top deck anything with haste. He has blood token. So he has good chance to hit something. This gives us 3 HP. It's sure that. And we are not playing this land because, like, next turn we win the game if he doesn't top deck anything. This is the last turn when he can kill us. And then we stabilize. Easy. Magic as intended. <laughs> yeah, so uh, by the way, we have a new set. You wouldn't tell by this deck. Nothing changed here.